Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will combine ADC and UART code together, where we will transfer the ADC data uh, to the computer through the UART. Since STM32 F7 Discovery Board have a COM port that is virtual COM port, so that you do not need uh, any external RS232 or TTL converters, so it has a uh, on board supported virtual COM port which is by default connected with the UART1 so we need to initialize the UART1 so the UART1 is connected with the PB7 pin sorry PB7 wait sorry sorry yes this is the PB7 UART1 receiver pin and another one is connected with the PA9 so the PA9 is UART1 TX pin now enable the UART into the asynchronous mode fine UART is enabled now what you need to set the UART uh, conf configurations here UART configuration into the parameter setting make it 9600 with the 8 bit the pair T none and the stop bit is 1 and leave all other information as it is and save this uh, project with a new name ADC and UART okay so now generate the code it is very simple to use a UART and ADC together now just open your project and add some extra lines to make it working come into the main.c come to the while.1 so as you already remember we have call the ADC start and then poll for the ADC conversion completions and then we read the ADC value and then here we will transfer that ADC value via UART okay so um, now we need to write those codes one more time uh, I don't remember exactly and also the UART supports the character type of the data transfer so that we have to also write a uh, integer to the string conversion so I have already written that code so just copy it from here okay the two string and paste it here fine that's mean when we will when we will call this function it will automatically change into the string type of the data so make it car two car and the number fine and define here u int 8 underscore t data of the size 10 is equal to the none okay fine add here some extra lines n plus 1 fine and into the while one I have already have this function which we have done already in previous tutorials ADC start ADC poll for conversions and then value then we will call here two function two core and then pointer of the data and then value okay and then you are transmission hal you are transmit handler for the you are one h u a r t one and then pointer to the data that is the data size of the data is the 10 and let's make it a hundred millisecond default timeout that's all what you need that's all just compile it and load it
start your TerraTerm into the serial mode. Uh, I think I am something. I am missing something. Perhaps. Let me see here. I didn't make it reset on run. Yes, the reset and run. Okay, click on the reset and run. Then load one more time. Now you must be able to see data. Yes, see here. Now we are able to see it data. Uh, it is not very clearly visible. So uh, what we can do here? Uh, we can add uh, extra HDR line here. That is a carriage return. Add two. Fine. Compile it. Now download it. See here now we are able to see the ADC value in our computer. Now we can utilize uh, we can utilize this uh, value to do filtering and some other things. But we will see later in next tutorials. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorials.